welcome back to my channel and welcome to Mikaela's two years update. It has been three months since I've updated you last on her milestone and development. So today I definitely have a lot of things to share and her birthday is already this weekend. Mikaela, say hi. And if you're new here by any chance, then welcome first of all, it's so nice to have you here. My name is Karina, it's my daughter Mikaela, and here on my channel I share my experience, ideas, tips and tricks to try and make motherhood and fatherhood just a bit easier on you. So if this sounds like something you'd like to watch, please consider subscribing. Also hit that bell icon so that you can get notified every Thursday when my new videos go live. And now without further ado, let's get into this update, but I think we will have this little one go play or maybe have some, or maybe have some screen time because as you can tell, we won't be able to get into much filming with this wild one. Mika, okay, now it's time to say bye. Baba, say bye. Baba. Let's go. Okay. As you can tell, now Mikaela is starting to pick up some English words. She is saying bye. And another English word is baby. 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 And guess what? It refers to my husband because I call him baby 100% of the time and she definitely picked it up. And if you don't know, we speak English with my husband, but we also do speak Spanish. He speaks Spanish. I speak Russian, also Ukrainian, but I teach Mikhailo Russian. He's trying to teach her Spanish and we do not teach her English, but she definitely gets all that exposure to it. And we hope that in the long run, she will become trilingual, but right now we're trying to raise her bilingual and I do have the whole video about it. If you haven't watched it yet, I will have it linked up here and in the description below, I explain all of it there. But besides that, we have some very exciting news to share. And if you have been following along, you know, we have weaned her from breastfeeding. It happened about a month ago and we couldn't have been happier, both of us. It went great. I Again, I have videos all about it, how exactly the gentle weaning process went, how I dried up my milk supply. Again, I will leave them in the description and up here in the cards. Watch them after if you're also looking to gently win your toddler. So now, since I weaned her, we're both happy. It's just better for us at this point. And like I said in those videos, it was just great timing. There was no stress involved. And now, since she is no longer breastfeeding, I put her to sleep just by laying with her in the bed. And we developed that special bond with her. We cuddle like never before. She holds my face like this. She kisses me. She hugs me. Of course, she also is all over the bed and sometimes she hits me by accident, but uh, it's a process to fall asleep. Sometimes it takes 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour. But let me tell you, this is much easier than breastfeeding her and rocking her on the ball. This is like a different world. And now we also talk with her a lot. She became so much more talkative and we talk a lot about her cartoons that she watched during the day and what she's been doing and we talk through what we're gonna do tomorrow and now she makes me repeat after her and she does not make sentences on her own not even two word sentences really but she tells me for example she goes mama 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 and until I say mama back she won't stop so she goes mama 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 I say okay mama and then she goes Nyam nyam. Nyam nyam means eating. I said, okay, mama is eating. And then she goes, uh, ya, ya, which means berries in Russian, yagade. It's just the first letter of the words that she's saying. So she's trying to make three word sentences, but she is making me say them by the time one by one. So she said, mama, mama, mama. I go, okay, mama. And then she goes, nyam nyam. I say, okay, mama is eating. And she goes, yeah, berries, mama is eating berries. Good job, Michaela. And she makes those sentences a lot with so many different things, but she does not say them herself. She 
has been understanding so much more comprehending so much more obviously but aside aside of the word baby i don't think there was any other full word in any language new new full word that she said in the last three months at least i don't recall but she does repeat after me a lot of noises and a lot of uh like movements or anything like that like uh, when i sneeze she does Achy! and things like this but when it comes to actual words she can only say like the first letter or the first couple of letters and that's it so far another great news is that she actually last night slept through the night first time ever from about like 9 30 until 6 30 in the morning she stayed in her bed never woke up never even made a noise at least i didn't hear it and that was great she woke up at 6 30 crying and then she went in our bed and we slept until almost 8 in the morning but i don't think that counts i think this can be called slept through the night because this was her longest stretch ever and especially in her bed that's incredible and if we would have been if we would have had that agenda to transfer her to her bed completely right now I could have just woke up with her at 6.30, calm her down, go make breakfast, but we don't have that agenda right now, just yet, we're okay with her sleeping in our bed. Lately she wasn't kicking too much, she started to sleep better and better, she wakes up less and less, and really I don't think we have any problems with sleep, it just keeps improving and I'm very proud of her. Last time I promised to update you on how our pool experience have been because as you probably know the whole summer we had our pool in our community closed completely so i wasn't able to practice with her whatsoever and as you also probably know we have been practicing from her first bus at three weeks old to dive her and do different like exercises in the water so we did get to go to the pool before it got cold probably only twice one time here and one time when we went to florida and we did not have much time to practice or something but i did submerge her and she was okay with it so i guess she still remembers it uh so we do have um plans to put her in some swimming classes after the pandemic passes you know so i hope this that will help her also going to the ocean after that last update we only went one more time and after that it got too cold so our ocean trips and pool is gone for now but here in south carolina it will get warm again maybe in april definitely in may and hopefully by the time we will have our pool open still because it's actually still open but it's it's way too cold uh so then i'll definitely be taking her there more often and we'll have many much more things to do because as you know the whole pandemic we were just every day almost every day walking around our neighborhood and sometimes it gets boring uh, because we were trying to don't take her to playgrounds too often and it just takes time to get in the car and go there and come back so we've been exploring our neighborhood still and now we have that little lightweight stroller that i can easily put her in and she likes to ride in the stroller and we just go strolling around like one round one circle around the buildings here and then she would run I actually sometimes make her run to get all that energy out of her because oh man she is active she is very active especially now that i got a little more chances uh, to compare her with other kids on playgrounds and some birthdays that we went to i can tell that my kid is very active but she's also super happy she loves to dance she loves to dance especially to like jazz music or to like christmas music or like older songs <laughs> and more every time we see her personality and now i can definitely tell you she is feisty but she is also extremely sweet and i love that about her it's so incredible she's just the sweetest girl in the world but she's also has that strong character in her as far as tantrums 
Uh, as you can tell, we should be entering the terrible tooth stage. Uh, so far, I cannot tell you that anything changed much. She has been having some meltdowns here and there lately about her clothes. About one month ago, she started to be very particular about what she wants to wear. Sometimes she wants to change her outfits like three times a day, five times a day. And she just screams like, take it off, take it off, you know, like, mm, mm, like that. And she goes and she tries to pick something for her. And that's cute and that's cool. And I like it. It's so girly of her. But also sometimes it's just, I don't have time to change her five times a day. Or like, I don't even want to change her five times a day, you know? So... That was nice, but it did cause some meltdowns. But so far, I cannot tell you if we are in terrible tooth yet because she started to have tantrums at about like 18 months, like over some food, like, you know, she likes mandarins a lot. And sometimes she wants to eat like 10 of them a day. And I don't want to give her 10 of them. That's way too much. That can cause some allergy or something. So she would melt down over that still actually. But, it never lasts too long and usually like a good hug and a talk comes from them. Party training update. Nothing has changed really. A couple of times she woke up with dry diaper and I thought, wow, that might be a sign. And sometimes now when she goes number two, she like touches her diaper just lately, just a couple of days ago, I noticed that she started to be maybe a little bit uncomfortable and she needs to change her diaper as soon as possible but like right before that just a week ago and before that all the time if i don't notice that she went she doesn't tell me and that that can cause some rushes in her and i always try to look after that to clean her because she doesn't tell me she really is not ready to party training she has really no signs i'm kind of trying to look for them maybe that's why I'm, I'm imagining them but she's only two and as far as i know an average age of party training is around three years when the kids are ready so like i said i'm waiting when she's ready because i do not want to waste my time try to do it and then it does not work out i want to do it when she's ready so that we can do it in like five days and be done with it she still loves painting. She can paint for a long time. It's probably one of those things that she can do on her own for a long time. But also, she also has her screen time still and sometimes a lot of it. Like right now, I need to film this video and she's having her screen time. But I try my best. Like, you know, I try my best to avoid it. But every day she does have fair two, sometimes more hours of screen time. So also we've been taking her to practice tennis a couple of more times. I told you last time that we will be going more, but we actually didn't because again, she's not very ready for it yet. So she's been improving. She's been showing some more um, interest in it and trying to repeat after her daddy. So we're trying, we're trying our best to go. But sometimes, you know, when my husband is off, he just want to lay in the couch and rest but we're trying because yes we want her to play tennis back in the end of september she got sick she had high fever and no other symptoms and as you might know she had something like that back in july but then it appeared to be uh, some kids virus and she ended up having a rash after having a fever and i was like oh my god again she has no other symptoms but strong high fever for two days and then it disappeared no rash happened nothing i am assuming because i believe in that stuff that it was kind of like mental she wanted to ha uh, to get more of my attention because we were still breastfeeding and when she gets sick she's constantly on my breast used to be by the way i don't know what i'm gonna do if she gets sick again what i'm gonna do now without being able to feed her that's gonna be such a different experience but i'll tell you about it whenever it happens because i mean let's be realistic kids get sick right so what happened in september i had my family over here and i did use it a lot i did use their help i asked them to stay with her for some long hours, longer than she is used to because she is 24 seven with me and they stay here for about two weeks and she spent time like maybe, no, I'm sure she spent more time with me, but she did spend a lot of time with them and maybe she felt like she's lacking my attention and 
in the way of fever, she showed me that. I do believe in that stuff. Um, so, because I cannot explain it any other way. What could it be? There was no other symptoms, just high fever. And I, if it would be just um, low fever, I could say, oh, maybe it's teasing because she was teasing at that point. But no, it cannot be teasing. But speaking about teasing, actually now she has all of her teeth out. Second set, the second set of molars is out and I believe that's it, right? So now she got all of them out. So we are hoping for another calm few months until she goes through another sleep regression or something. Uh, but right now we are actually in a good, good spot. Like teasing is gone, breastfeeding is gone. She is sleeping better and better. We don't really have any big tantrums or nothing. So we're trying to enjoy it. Also, I wanted to mention her Halloween costume this year. I don't think I mentioned it in this channel. She was a um, workout girl from 80s and everybody loved it. And they even told us why we didn't participate in the costume contest. I didn't even think about it. I didn't saw, I haven't thought that it would be such a hit and everybody was obsessed. We went to walk to like a park here and there was a lot of kids a lot of parents and then i posted on instagram by the way follow me on instagram if you don't yet if, if you want to uh, get in contact with me it's much easier there so i'm gonna insert a couple of videos here for you to see how cute she was Another thing is her current obsession with Mickey and Minnie Mouses. She does not really differentiate them. Also, I think she does not differentiate her name, Mikaela, and we call her Mika in short, with Mickey. I think she thinks it's the same thing. Well, but now she has so much clothes with Mickey and we're planning to get her like Mickey balloons for her birthday and she has already got her like a little birthday outfit uh, with like Mickey Mouse theme. She loving it and it's been for about one or two months this obsession and that's so cute because I was like she's not into nothing. She, she used to like ducks a lot because that was the first thing she learned how to mimic their noises. Uh, now she actually likes dogs because she is watching some cartoons with dogs and she can talk about it a lot. But Mickey is her jam. And if you also have a two year old, let me know in the comments below if you have already entered that terrible two stage and how is it going. And if you like that video, make sure to give it like because this will help YouTube algorithm and this will help more parents to see it. And this makes me very happy and tells me which kind of content you guys like to watch. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that bell icon comment below and I'll see you next week. This time I want to wish you to have happy and healthy kids. Bye-bye.